they're slightly extended even here. So they get bigger as you go to the side. Mm -hmm. And they don't feel natural, do no, they? No, they don't. They feel wrong. Yeah. And you can see this ledge across here, across there. So I'm not saying we can't give you big lips, but something in proportion to your face, yeah. soft. It'll be nicer as well when I get to suck this in as well, Clench. Yeah, it's, one side. That, yeah. it's one side. It's one side. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll softly dissolve this tear trough. So what's happened with the tear trough here? The tear trough's been placed uh, by another practitioner and it's been placed below the actual tear trough. So you can see the filler there. And that's caused the tear trough to get a bit worse. So we're going to dissolve. Headaches? No. Clench? Keep clenched. Let's go back to this. Cool. Don't lie down for four hours, yeah? Yeah. And no makeup today. So, Maddie, we've obviously dissolved your lips. How are you feeling? Because yeah. when we started talking through it, you were, I think, a tiny bit unsure. I think it's because I've had my lips actually filled since I was 18, uh -huh. so it's not had small lips since uh -huh. then. But looking back now, I definitely did see that. I think that's what I find probably as my responsibility, but sometimes a bit of a challenge is I like to be honest yeah. in my facial analysis. Never looking to offend, always looking to work yeah. with someone. And in a way, if someone wants to keep their big lips, I don't judge. That's their yeah. life, that's their face. But when they're in front of me, I feel my responsibility. And you, like I said to you, you've got such a natural beauty. You don't need fake lips yeah. to draw eyes away from natural beauty. And so I, I do think as we look at it now, your bottom lip's got a nice volume. Your top lip on the side comes back yeah. a little bit. That's so I think, nice. yeah. So we'll add a little bit of volume and we'll just align everything. How's that sound? Yeah, yeah. It's a very, very small needle. And what that allows is the applicator. Now what people say when they um, look at the calendar is they think it looks a little bit scary, looks a little bit rough, but it's not and it glides and it's actually less painful than the needle. And you can see, it, they all see it's a little bit of pain, but we glide it there, we're now in the right spot and I'm applying a filler just there now. And you'll see it's filling this area very softly. So for me, I'm looking at the result rather than how much fit I'm using per se, but that actually was point one. And then as I come through here, I'm gonna add a little bit to this cupid's bow to lift it. But remember my main point was putting volume to add there. So now I put what, I think really 0.15, so a small amount of filler. She may need another 0.5, maybe a bit more, but for me, it's about looking at it. And then what we can then do is see what the result looks like. I want to add a little bit to the lower lip, but I'm going to do that with a 30 gauge needle. Mm -hmm. The reason we go for the little needle is I want to add a little bit to the shape, but I don't want to add to the volume. Mm -hmm.
looks so good. So all I've added is a little bit of shape. So there's no volume there, it's shape. Mm. What that has done is I think you probably do need a tiny bit yeah. more to the top. Yeah. yeah Are I'm you happy with that? that? Yeah. yeah. We got you to where I probably keep you forever. Yeah. I'm not going to ever make people this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Should dissolve my lips and he's refilled them and I feel like they just suit my face so much more and um, they look so natural but yeah nice and um, yeah I've had such a great experience and I definitely recommend to everyone.